Hope was uh, the, I guess, of all the people I've worked with. I did uh, several specials with him. Did one movie, uh, Eight on the Lamb, which I think people, the only people that saw it were in Salinas during the pear crop or something. Um, he was locked into cards. And I'm sorry that he's, you know, not feeling very well now. He's bearing down on 100. Um, there was no, in shooting the movie or any other time, you didn't dare ad lib. It was all written there, and you went with that, what was in front of you. You know, I mean, I'm not, I read all the cards, but he had stuff there to do. Um, Bob, to me, uh, of all the people I've met outside of Art Linkletter, and I'm sure there are others, like Fred McMurray that I met, and guys, and I'm talk, mentioning these names because these were not only performers, actors, but tremendous businessmen. Hope came out with Barbara Walters, and she hit him with the Forbes book and said, you're worth $850 million. And uh, close to a billion dollars, and he's, and she said, no, eight hundred fifty million. And about, he said, oh, I don't have this kind of money. Why would you say that? Bing has that kind of money. And she hit him again. It's right here, Bob, eight hundred fifty. And he said, I do own more property than anybody else in the state of California. So that leads you to believe he's made some fair investments. Um, I think he was a hell of a businessman. Uh, there's a lot. Um, to be said about his going out to entertain the troops and then coming back. and um, I, I don't know the full story. I mean, I, I know that the public uh, says, and aside from the public, this is a, a fantastic person that would go out there every holiday to entertain these guys. President Agnew was downstairs, or Vice President Agnew. And I went upstairs to see Bob, and I said, uh, you know, Vice President Agnew is downstairs. I guess he's waiting to see you. And Bob said, uh, let him wait. You know, I'll come down when I feel like it. Um, which I guess is hope, you know. Um, the, when we did Eight on the Lamb, Phil Stiller, myself, and a couple of other people came by. And I lived right around, keep, around, keep in mind, I lived right around the corner from Bob in Toluca Lake, just around the corner. He's on three acres, and I'm on an acre and a quarter or something. When we uh, we shot, uh, came around something about a golf cart going in the swimming pool, something, we were going to do some shots there at his home. <clears throat> and we stopped for lunch, broke for lunch, and um, they served us in cardboard boxes. And I said, uh, Bob, I'd just soon go home because uh, this is food, I don't know where it's from, but maybe it's used food, you know, in a cardboard box. And I kind of put him on, you know, he kind of looked at, do you have any dishes at all? I mean, just plain dishes, they don't have to be gold trim or anything. And Dolores came in and said, what is this? I said, well, Bob asked us to eat out of these cardboard boxes. I've been with atmosphere people, atmosphere people and extras, but I just thought, you know, this is one of the, Joys of having one of the leads is to served on plates. Oh my God! Of course, we'll go out and get some plates. And Bob said, "Oh, what for?" And I used to that. So there were a lot of little things. Uh, I went down to Tahiti with Bob, and I was playing a Frenchman, and my hat flew off, and I said something about, "Oh, my chapeau is gone, you know, Bobby, let me go get my chapeau and play his cut." God, we're out of, out of character here. So. Uh, not to say he isn't a professional, but uh, really locked in, you know, to what's there. And if you want to veer off for some reason, it's out.